Tangana says the awards belong to her and not Priyanka. 9XE catches Malika Sherawat leaving a doctor's office. Find out what she's up to. Sonakshi tries to win Salman's favor through his family. Sonam throws a temper tantrum at an event. Hi guys, I'm Mia. The weekend is right around the corner and let's bring it in with an awesome episode of 9XE The Show. So awards season just went by and the winners are on a high. This includes Priyanka Chopra who bagged many awards for her role in the biopic Mary Calm. And she was super kicked about it, of course. But did you know that none of these awards were meant for her? They all actually belong to Kangana Ranaut for Queen. Oh, we are not saying this. Kangana herself told 9XE The Show in an exclusive phone conversation. Did you feel you will miss out to Priyanka who is getting all the awards? I didn't get all the awards. I didn't get all the awards. I didn't get all the awards. Wow. Okay, let's just get this right. Kangana just said that she was picked to sweep awards season and she knew about it well in advance. Kangana's words are the exact opposite of Priyanka's, who gave a very diplomatic answer when she was asked about Kangana's refusal to attend awards functions. <laughs> I'm proud of Kangana um, for the fact that she has taken a stand. Um, we all think that we are not you know, justified in the awards, we are deserving in the awards. But no one can take this stand and I think a big thumbs up to Kangana. Just to let you know that the major awards that Kangana bagged for Queen were the Film Fair and recently the National Award. Mary Calm got a consolatory National Award for Best Popular Film Providing Wholesome Entertainment. This is a far cry away from when Priyanka won the National Award for Fashion and Kangana got the honors for her supporting role. With Kangana's recent win, the rivalry between her and Priyanka might just intensify. Priyanka, of course, was diplomatic once again. She tweeted, I hate losing, but if I had to take a back seat to anyone this year, it would be you. Hashtag Kangana Runout. Congratulations, yay queen. Hashtag small town girls. Awards have been under a cloud for many years. Your attendance counts more than your performance. Kangana, who was in a mood to talk to 9XE The Show, cleared what we all suspected. Awards functions are based on which actor confirms to attend the show. Uh, you know, sometimes these, these sort of conditions are not uh, are not cool you know when they tell actors if you don't attend then you won't get it and sometimes actors would be uh, shooting outdoor or genuinely sick or things like that so if you appreciate someone's performance then they shouldn't be the condition However, this is not the first time she has lost out on an award that was clearly hers. It started with her debut film Gangster and it's continued to her recent movie Krish 3. Many times. It has happened to me so many times. It happened to me uh, during Gangster. Gangster, I was getting all the awards and uh, for some award I was stuck in traffic. I was at the gate and they gave the award to someone else and during Tannu Manu I was shooting in Lucknow and uh, they said we want to give you the uh, some popular choice award. I'm like I'm sending my director and you give it to him. They're like okay okay fine fine. So Ananji went and they told him that okay if she didn't show she doesn't show up then we can't give it to you. Okay, that too happened. So at Krish ke time pe, they told me ke I was in New York and they're like, okay, we have you one negative role, you got your award, hai. so you know you, so we want you to attend this. And I said I can't come, but by that time I was like, you know, I didn't have any craze left or uh, any sort of respect left for award ceremonies and all mm -hmm. of that. Then I was chilled out. Okay, I said, okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. Then they say, no, no, you have to come or we'll give it to someone else. 
ऐसे कोई बात करता है क्या हम लोग बच्चे हैं जो ऐसे बात करते हैं किसी की यू नो Well you've seen what biased award shows can do they can make a talented actress lose faith in them but Kangana is cool with the fact that Priyanka loves the awards that come her way and then Priyanka is very open about it that she loves the award functions she loves to attend and many other acts you know so what chai you now because that's what uh they want and that's what they like ab ab if we respect them for that then we must respect actors who don't care about it they care about it na so Was that a dig at Priyanka? We don't know. All said and done, it's so refreshing when an actor talks openly about how biased awards functions can be. We wish everyone was this frank and candid, Priyanka especially, since she refused to reply to our messages when we asked her to respond to Kangana's opinion. Hats off to you Kangana, you deserve the national award. She has much reason to celebrate her recent birthday and now this win. Ha, huh, when I come back सात सात अप्रैल को हमारा ट्रेलर लॉन्च है तो अराउंड दैट टाइम आई विल हैव अ बिग पोस्ट बर्थडे पार्टी इन बॉम्बे वेल प्रियंका नाइन एक्स इज हियर वेन एवर यू फील लाइक टॉकिंग टू अस वी वुड लव टू हियर फ्रॉम यू बट इट्स रियली ग्रेट दैट अ टैलेंट लाइक खान गानस हैज सच अ ब्राइट फ्यूचर इन द इंडस्ट्री अनलाइक सम एक्टर्स हुज फ्यूचर सीम्स ब्लीक इन बी टाउन एंड वट डू दे डू दे रिजोर्ट टू अनयूजल वेज टू अपलिफ्ट देयर करियर confused well nine xc the show exclusively caught none other than the sex siren malika sherawat visiting a leading dermatologist in juhu mumbai but for what check it out i'm standing outside building casablanca which is in juhu now we've got to know that right here on the second floor is dr rekha shet's clinic where malika sharawat has come for her surgery and the proof for that is that car behind me yes that is malika's car yahan par kafi sare celebrities aate hain treatments ke liye aur hame information mili hai that malika sharawat is here to get dimples on her cheeks surgically done So 9XC always gives you confirmed news. We saw that Malika was here for her surgery. But shayad unhe ye andaaza lag gaya tha ki 9XC ki team mauke par pahunch chuki hai. Isliye wo apna face cover karte karte niche aayi aur gaadi mein baithte hi wo late gayi. So the next time you spot a dimpled Malika and wonder if she always had those, remember it was Nine Next to the show who revealed to you the news of her newfound love for dimples. What is the surgery all about? It's called dimpleplasty. An incision is made on the inside of the cheek. As it heals, the dimples are visible when you smile. It's a half-hour procedure where the recovery is quick. The side effects of dimple plasty could be that the dimples might lose shape with age. Did you know natural dimples are a defect in the cheek muscles? Hmm. Now we wonder if Deepika Padukone and Ali Abbas, two young and successful dimpled stars, have inspired our lady. But she really does not need their dimples. She could do with their soaring career graph though. Recently, like many other times, she got a lot of media attention when she tweeted about her new luxurious ride, a Lamborghini, which is a gift from her secret admirer. But as far as films are concerned, it's no secret that all she has given are a range of flops. In spite of a heavy dose of hot scenes and kisses, Malika's latest release, Dirty Politics, went unnoticed. Before that, films like Kismat, Love Pesa Dili, and Hiss completely bombed at the box office. And she went on to look for true love on the TV reality show The Bachelorette India. Malika did try to sell us on the idea that she was on the verge of becoming a big Hollywood star. She She even began spending time in Los Angeles to prove her point. But films like The Myth and Politics of Love crushed her dream. It also did not help that she made outrageous statements like, "I was the first actress in India to kiss on screen and wear a bikini." Imagine
imagine in this 21st century. And instantly I became a fallen woman and a superstar at the same time. Because there is a moral code, this is what a leading lady can do on screen and this is what she cannot do and I did everything that I'm not supposed to do. Well, all said and done, we really hope her dimpled smile doesn't go unnoticed like her films. Ouch, did that hurt Malika? Coming up, Sunny Leone talks to 9XE The Show about being trapped in her image. Shah Rukh's extreme reaction to Ranveer's audition. After that break, you've joined us on 9XE The Show. So, speculation has been rife about Shahid Kapoor's relationship with Delhi girl Mira Rajput. A few episodes ago, 9XE The Show told you that Shahid's father Pankaj Kapoor met with Mira's family to discuss their marriage. But there has been no official word from either Shahid or his family. Until now. When Shahid recently walked the red carpet at an event, the topic of his marriage was a burning issue. And so our 9XE correspondent asked him about it. His answer took us by surprise. I'm not engaged, but what you've been reading is kind of true. Um, marriages on the card sometimes towards the end of the year. Wow, he actually admitted to his relationship with Mira. Shahid met the 23-year-old Mira through their spiritual guru. Mira has studied at Vasan Valley School and Lady Sri Ram College in Delhi. Now this is one of the few times a celebrity has come out in the open and spoken about his relationship. He's really dealt with this like a thorough gentleman. Now Shahid's confession might have broken a few hearts, but we hope Shahid walks the red carpet hand in hand with Mira really soon. Now let's look at our next story. So it's been nearly three years since adult star Sunny Leone entered Bollywood to make it as a mainstream heroine. And her struggle continues. As her film Aik Paheli Leela is set for release, she talks to 9XE The Show about how her image is a double-edged sword, how she's picking career over children, and her equation with husband and business partner Daniel Weber. The look, the first look poster that everybody's seen, that look took six hours to um, create and it wasn't, it wasn't exactly the most fun experience but by the time we were done, which is uh, the picture that everybody's seeing, it ended up being beautiful. Every single day my whole body would get painted to a, a dark brown tan color and I loved it. I thought that becoming so tan and dark was so much fun. I love tan, I think that dark skin is beautiful. I had to speak in this uh, Rajasthani uh, language and tone um, that was created. And I would grab whoever I could find to help me learn, you know, to help me with my dialogue, help me with the tone, help me with the words. Hindi to I have practice every day. I have a lot of people around me that uh, that don't speak a lot of English, like my whole staff, they don't speak a lot of English, so it becomes easier for me, whether I'm at a, a trouble rule or if I'm saying the words right, if I'm gr grammatically correct, whatever it is, I just keep speaking. Being sexy and bold is pretty much second nature to me, um, but I hope that it does change in some ways and in some ways I don't. I, I believe that we watch movies and we go to uh, the theaters to see people that are beautiful, that are sexy, um, that entertain us. So if I'm entertaining somebody just the way that I am right now, then I'm happy for that. And sometimes you make good decisions with it being bold or maybe sometimes it's not a good decision. My journey has not been easy. Um, it's been amazing. I've learned so much over the last four years about the industry, about acting, about um, Bollywood as a whole. And how do I want to take my life forward with this? I have no idea. We're going to find out. And if it all ends today or if it all ends tomorrow, then that's what's in my destiny. I think that it's a very slow progression towards ex acceptance. Um, I still feel like the elephant in the room when I go to any social event uh, that has other Bollywood stars there. I think people are just trying to weigh out whether this girl's here to stay, who, what is she all about, you know, who is she. 
Um, I am here to stay as long as my fans want me here. We're partners. We're not only partners in life, we're best friends, we're business partners. We have been this way for a very long time, for almost seven years. So it was only natural that the one person that's going to have my best interest at hand 24 hours a day would be my husband. A lot of my movies, there are, you know, scenes that, that are with other uh, actors. Um, so, I mean, obviously he's very comfortable with himself and he is the reason that I get to be me. He allows me to be Sunny Leone. Growing up, I was the young girl who played sports more often, and street hockey, and basketball, and soccer, all these things. I played with G.I. Joes, and I wasn't the girl that played with Barbies. I am a very normal wife. I'm a very normal girl. I'm probably less exciting than you think I am. When the camera's off, I'm, you know, I'm just like you. I'm sitting in sweatpants at home, eating popcorn, watching a movie, or, um, you know, hanging out with my husband. My husband is my best friend, so we don't exactly have a lot of fights. Yeah, there's one wish that I have in my life, and I wish they could have seen, um, where I've come because both my parents are not alive and uh, they passed away before I got into uh, Bollywood and I wish every single day that they could see you know what I've done. I would be lying if I didn't say that I think about kids all the time almost every day but uh, I think physically for my body it would be um, it wouldn't be the greatest decision at this moment. Do I want to have children? Yes, I do. My husband and I desperately want to have children. It's just right now, physically for me, it's not possible. Wow, it's great to see that Sunny does not hold back from speaking her mind. And you could easily say that about Ranveer Singh too. It's no big secret that Ranveer loves to joke around. He's always posing for the cameras with a quirky look, following girlfriend Deepika Padukone around like a love-struck man, or showering his co-stars with kisses. But did he take it too far with Shah Rukh Khan? Ranveer auditioned for Rohit Shetty's Dilwale, produced by Shah Rukh, and like always, nailed it. But there was one particular line in his audition that got everyone talking. Sticking to the script given to him, Ranveer said, If you are the Badsha, I'm Leela's Ram. Tum agar Badsha ho, to me bhi Leela ka Ram hu. Oh, and what was Shah Rukh's reaction? He burst out laughing. That's right, then he could not control his laughter when Ranveer delivered the line with just the right amount of punch, like you know only Ranveer. Can. Now this is a very loaded line. Shah Rukh, who is Ranveer's girlfriend, Deepika's favorite hero, is called the Badshah of Bollywood and Ranveer played Ram to Deepika's Leela in Sanjay Leela Bansali's Ram Leela. But our guess is that Ranveer might not be able to get away with a line like this in the film. That's because he plays the villain. His extended cameo in Dilwale is not that of a romantic hero, but the baddie. And like we all know, the hero always wins in a Hindi movie. Coming up, Sonakshi tries tries to woo Salman through his family. Our body doubles the saviors of injured actors. Welcome back to 9XE The Show. So amongst the happy celebrations of Salman Khan's sister Arpita's wedding last November, we heard news that Salman had actually brought Sonakshi Sinha to tears. Sonakshi of course rubbished the rumors and went on to share photos of her and Salman. But the truth of the matter is that Salman and Sonakshi have not ironed out all of their differences as yet. Now it looks like Sonakshi is trying to get closer to Salman via his family. Recently, like you read on 9xe.com, at Amrita Arora's husband Shakil Ladakh's birthday party, Sonakshi was seen posing happily with Salman's sister Arpita and brother Sohail. Is this her way of trying to patch things up with Salman? Or is she trying to let the public know that all's well between her and Salman? You see, if his family loves her, he can't possibly have an issue with her, right? So now she has not been having a great time at the box office with Action Jackson and Tevar flopping. Could this also be a plea for help from Salman? The man with the Midas touch, the man who launched her. 
However, this is not the first time Sonakshi has posted photos on social media to woo Salman. While she was promoting Action Jackson on Salman's show Big Boss, she made sure to post those photos as soon as possible. But it's not only Sonakshi who idolizes Salman, the general public does too. We idolize most of Bollywood's heroes, the way they romance, the way they deliver their dialogues, and the manner in which they beat up the villain and jump from high-rise buildings. So it's easy to forget that these actors are not superheroes in real life, but just on-screen heroes. This means that they need help of trained professionals to perform most of their stunts. This is where their body doubles come in. Recently, 9xe.com brought you the story that Shah Rukh Khan was shooting for fan in Croatia with a body double. Even though the body double looked very little like Shah Rukh, he was dressed exactly like him, right down to the matching headband. Then news came that Shah Rukh was injured on the sets of fan. He tweeted, Serious ouch time, hamstring shaken, fortunately not stirred, injections galore, running like a duck. Not that I don't like ducks, but it sucks. It's great to see that Shah Rukh has his famous sense of humor still intact. But it looks like he needs his body double now more than ever. I mean, Shah Rukh is nearing 50 and has often suffered onset injuries. Shah Rukh suffered a head and shoulder injury on the sets of Happy New Year. He had to undergo shoulder surgery after being injured while shooting a fight sequence for Chennai Express. Old shoulder, knee and toe injuries resurfaced while he was working on My Name is Khan and Raw One. He has also injured his left shoulder more than once during shooting. He had to undergo surgery after he hurt his back on the sets of Boney Kapoor's Shakti, The Power. He also hurt his ankle and ribs. So it comes as no surprise that he needs a body double to pull off all the tough stunts. But Shah Rukh is not alone in needing a body double. You could easily mistake the man in these photos, which we showed you on 9xe.com, for Ranveer Singh shooting for Bajirao Mastani. But look carefully and you'll realize that it's actually his body double. Look closely, you see it, right? Ranveer injured his right arm while shooting an intense war scene in Jaipur. He had to put his arm in a sling. But director Sanjay Leela Banzali did not want to halt shooting, so he brought in a body double, dressed him up in the clothes of Baji Rao and shot with him. A source close to the project said, the film has to be completed in a given time frame. Bansali is chasing a deadline and has to release the film by end of the year. He can't afford to wait for too long. Ranveer might have tweeted, but looks like he did have to take some time off after all, and that's why his body double had to be called in. Now add another name to this list, Ritik Roshan too has had to resort to using a body double. After his brain surgery, looks like Ritik wanted to take it slow. There were reports that he himself performed some stunts in Bang Bang, but he also had not one, but two body doubles doing the action sequences for him. And there were a lot of those in Bang Bang. Ritik also has a body double doing the heavy lifting for him on the sets of Ashutosh Gowarikar's Mohenjo Daro in Booch. So does this mean that body doubles are the new heroes? Well, don't think we can say that as yet, but there's no denying that actors who have suffered major injury have to rely on these trained professionals. So does this mean that body doubles are the new heroes? Well, don't think we can say that as yet, but there's no denying that actors who have suffered major injury have to rely on these trained professionals. Now, just don't tell us that Akshay Kumar does not do his own stunts. It will ruin Bollywood for us. Coming up, another star kid to debut, this one, Adiol. Aishwarya refuses to walk the red carpet at an event. Was this the best decision? Welcome back to 9XE The Show. Now the long line of star kids who have turned actors is never ending. There's Varun Dawan, Tiger Shroff and Ali Abad. Now add to the list yet another kid who is all set to hit the silver screen. Yes, 9XE The Show has learned that Karan Deol, Sunny Deol's son, is gearing up to join the League of Star Kids. Father Sunny will announce his launch in June this year under the family banner Vijayta Films. And of course, Grandfather Dharmendra is playing a major role in all the preparations. Looks like Papa Deo wants his son to take on the family tradition as he himself debuted in the banner's first film, Baytab, which became a blockbuster. Then brother Bobby followed suit with a successful Barsat. 
again produced by the same banner. Clearly for both the brothers, debuting under the family banner has proven successful. And now it looks like Sonny doesn't want to take chances with his son's career. Probably that's why he even made him refuse a three-film deal with Yash Raj Films. Unheard of, right? When actors, star kids or otherwise would kill for even a single film with the great YRF, Sunny asked Sankaran to turn down the three film offer. This could probably stem from Sunny's history with YRF. Sunny had a problem with them after Dar. He felt that Shah Rukh Khan, who was then relatively new to the industry, was given a much larger role and that his role had been cut down. Sadly, we have to agree with you, Sunny. After K -K Kieran left an everlasting impression on all of our minds, right? Now let's look at our next story. This one involves the gorgeous women of Bollywood. They came out for a women's magazine's event to honor women achievers, and a lot happened. Buzz is that Aishwarya Rai Bachchan chose not to walk the red carpet and even left in a hurry. But we did manage to photograph her and boy are we grateful for that. Aishwarya was in a fresh off the runway Sabia Sachi look that was seen at the recent Lakme Fashion Week. The original was a dress but Aishwarya added a churidar and dupatta Indianizing the outfit. Our guess is that if she had gone with the original look it would have worked much better and we would have seen Aishwarya in a a different after. Katrina KF2 attended the event in a lovely Ports 1961 gown. She looked gorgeous as usual. Would you believe that she was unwell? I have a very high fever. That is not the face of a person who is ill. She looked better than most of us on our best days. Was it the makeup that helped? And she seemed so calm and composed while answering this particular question. Whoever wants to, <laughs> whoever wants to get married and whoever finds that special person and makes that amazing choice, I think. Also walking the red carpet was Sonam Kapoor, who just recovered from swine flu. She went for the glam princess look in a soft pink Tony Matibsky gown. Sonam complimented the look with a bow clutch. Though she did seem a little under the weather, she looked happy to be there. However, 9XE The Show has learned that she walked out halfway through the event since she did not want to wait long to present the award. The organizers had to literally call her back, but to Sonam's credit, she did apologize later on. Huma Qureshi chose a cape gown and it was alright. I mean the large white flowers on the border make it look like a fancy tablecloth, but Huma more than made up for it with great makeup and beautiful ear cuffs. Neha Dupia, however, was let down by her makeup. It was a shade too bronze. Otherwise, there was no faulting her Rocky S look. Urvashi Rotella showed off her curves and an entire peacock on her finger. Gohar Khan too picked a look straight off the runway, this one by Ken Ferns. She let the pairing of the different patterns stand out with minimal jewelry and sleek hair. All in all, the women looked lovely and bonus points to them because they were out for a good cause. That's all from me for this episode. You guys keep checking our website 9xe.com and our YouTube channel for the latest Bollywood news. Also download the free 9xe app to keep up with all things entertainment. Bye for now. See you guys on Monday. Mwah.